treat everybody well. I once worked for an organization many years ago. I won't call it the name. It's not United Nations, so you won't know the place. For some reason, I walked into the office very early that morning. And so the driver saw me and called me. He said, you come. I didn't understand it. I said, driver, he's saying you come. He didn't call me with humility. So I had a problem with the fact that driver is telling me you come. And I was the head of the unit. Tell driver be telling me you come. I said, okay, in the spirit of love of God, let me go. He said, when did you resume here? I answered him and he said, um, so which one, where, which is your department? You know, so he said, oh, you are the new guy. Hey. I said, Lord, teach me to be patient. Maybe this is a trial of my faith, you know. And then when he finished, he now tapped me on the back. He said, work hard. Did we, we, I can't even remember, you know, it's been a while. Very long time. He said, be diligent, something like encouraging me. And I walked out and I was so, so upset. And I walked into the office, you know, and I told him, so the name of the young woman. I said, who oh, is that guy, that drive, that he said, calm down. Now this guy, they run this place. I say, he is a driver. He say, he's a driver with a difference. I say, thank God. <laughs> I say, he even was encouraging me. And I did not do anything. He said, you did well. He will go and tell the CEO that you are the man for the job. So thank God that you did. By the next morning, I saw him again. I walked up to him. <laughs> I walked up to him and I said to him, good morning. He said, he said ah, I knew you were a good guy. I said, yes, I was. I've always been. People of God, treat everybody well.